Despite a court order forcing those living inside Victoria's tent city to pack up and leave tomorrow, one housing activist says she expects dozens will remain, at least for now, because there's still nowhere for them to go. Victoria's notorious tent city is slowly shrinking. We're just continuing to prepare residents for their move over to the Johnson Street building. But housing activist Christy Brett says many squatters will still be here after Monday's court order deadline to leave. I would say there's probably 60 on site right now. There's probably still going to be 50 at the end of the day tomorrow. And she says it's not their fault because housing is still not available for everyone, including some youth. The two youth that have been residents here are not able to get in till Wednesday. The camp, which is costing the province $184,000 a month in upkeep and wages for community workers, has been plagued with problems since it sprang up last year. Filthy conditions, safety concerns, and violence. But Brett says there have been positives as well. I think the positives are seeing some of our most vulnerable population move on and get some safety and security. Many have already been moved into housing after the provincial government spent $11.2 million to buy a former senior's care home that has been converted into 140 units for the homeless. A roof is great, but I think some of the medical services and mental health services that will be provided at this new place will be different than anything else that Victoria has seen. Brett says despite help being offered to those in this camp, homelessness remains a crisis in our country and much, much more needs to be done. And the provincial government said late this afternoon that so far they have housed about 260 people from Tent City and that their goal is still to have everybody registered for housing moved by end of day Monday.